Welcome back to Blizzard Abroad. So today I want to talk about an important topic. You know, why as men, we must embrace the burden of masculinity, right? In today's society, especially in the West, right? We know that there's an ongoing effort to erase all traces of masculinity, right? There's an effort to redefine what it means to be a man, to redefine what it means to be a woman, right? But we have to be clear, and I'll be clear on this. Everybody should be able to live life on their own terms, right? Without discrimination, without shame, without insult, as long as they're not harming others, right? But guess who's included in that? In everyone? Men are included in that, right? We get to live on our own terms also. We get to have our own beliefs, our own values, right? Nobody can tell a man what a man is. We define that. We define what man is, what masculinity is, man. Right? Our sons are being raised in a society that tells them from birth, right? That they're the problem. A whole generation growing up under third wave feminism, that's Gen Z, their whole lives, right? Their whole lives and now they're hearing that, you know, that, that women would rather be alone with a bear than to be with them, right? There's a generation that, from the moment they were born, right? In America, they've been teaching that men are the problem and men are dangerous. So it's like men in America are afraid to be men anymore, afraid to speak up, afraid to push back, right? So if we think we got it bad, I'm Gen X. If we think we got it bad, Right? What's in store for our sons? What what is life gonna look like for them by the time they get our age? My son's 20. Never harmed a woman, never did anything bad to a woman. That I mean that I know of, but I'm pretty sure he has it. Right? Why is he the problem in society? Why is he dangerous? Like from people that never even met him, right? And maybe I need to stay off Reddit because this is what's getting me hot, man. Like, there are people teaching that, you know, a man, you know, opening the door for you is bad nowadays. Something dangerous about that. There are people teaching other, other women, you know, that a man smiling and saying hello should make them feel uncomfortable, right? That it, it's, it's infuriating, man, because, and it's not even me, because I could give, I could care less, you know, about the feminists. But what I do know is that if we don't stand up as men and start embracing our masculinity and stop letting other de- others define it for us, Right. It's not going to be us because that suffer from it. It's not going to be us that suffer from it. It's going to be our sons. It's going to be our grandsons. Right. Because like I said, I've I have my kids. I've been married before. You know, do I I want a relationship that that's going to work for me? Yes. Yes. But but I've already procreated. You know, I already have children. You know what I'm saying? So it's different. For me, it's like, yeah, I get a woman, but I don't really need no wife. You know what I'm saying? But for our sons, for our grandsons, the things that they're teaching women with this extreme feminism, man, it's scary. It's because the effect that it's going to have. Right? And believe me, man, I already went in on the men. I've already talked to the brothers about how 
the rhetoric that they're spitting. You know what I mean? And it has nothing on what these women are talking about. And it goes deeper than the 4B movement. Right? It was just not too long ago. Because I'm black. You can see that. That there was a group of women advocating to terminate well, let me say this right. There's a group of women who were advocating to black women that if that they were going to have a black son, that they should terminate the pregnancy. And that went on for years with men reporting it, reporting it as hate speech. And it didn't get taken down until the other colored person complained about it. It's sickening. And I'm not coming up here to complain. I'm not coming up here to bitch and moan. I'm coming up here to implore men to start embracing the masculinity. Because for years we have been told that masculinity is toxic, but it's not. Can't turn something that's inherently good to a negative. People can be toxic. Male, female, yes. But masculinity in itself is strength, is courage, is leadership, man. It's knowledge, it's wisdom passed down to, to, to our kids. That's masculinity, man. It's a good thing. It always has been. Right? It's protecting, providing for our loved ones. It's, it's upholding the society that these people benefit from. They benefit from masculinity. Masculinity protects societies. It's what societies stand on. So I, masculinity is integrity. It's responsibility, man. And if we don't stand up and protect our sons, who else will? Right? Like I saw, I recently saw a famous actress. And I won't, I'm not going to mention no names. But she was saying in the interview that her son expressed the desire to, to be a girl as early as two years old. And I mean, the kid at the time of the interview, the kid was older. She was saying that her son expressed the desire to be a girl at two years old. And, you know, she got upset when the other kids started teasing him because he was two, three, four, and she was allowing him to wear dresses. And I'm not saying that it's right for him to get teased. It's absolutely not right. But it's also not right to force every other child to adhere to the beliefs you know that they don't share that their parents don't share that's a perfect example of what's happening in our society today things that don't align with the way we live we're being forced to accept it or will be canceled fired shamed, insulted for expressing our beliefs. Like, when is it going to stop? I don't want to see an America where men are afraid to be men. Where men are afraid to stand up and express their desires, express their beliefs, their values, what they want out of life. Like, I'm not just going to keep, I'm not going to shrink away. Like, I'm proud to be a man. I don't care what anybody else says. I'm proud to be a man. I'm proud to take care of my family, do whatever they need, you know, and be able to provide for them, man. Like I said, to each his own. That's, that's the statement. That's the way it goes, to each his own. But I repeat, to each 
its own. That means you live the way you want to live. Fine. Over there. I live the way I want to live. Fine. Over here. And we must, we have to stand firm in our beliefs, man. We have to stop shrinking away from the noise, the rhetoric, the narrative that's being pushed. We have to push back and protect our sons from a society that that wants to undermine their identity. Like n- none of us have a say in how we were born. I, I, I do believe that. Right. I didn't ask to be born a man, but I am. And I have to embrace it. I don't have any other choice. That's why I say embrace the burden of masculinity. We do not have a choice because there's masculinity and there's femininity. You know, so you don't have a choice in this. If you're a man, you're a man. That's it. Go to bed, a man. You wake up a man. Every day. So we need to redefine what masculinity is on our terms, right? And and I'm not ashamed of it. You know what I mean? It's a positive thing, right? It's done nothing but good for the world. And the people that benefit from masculinity the most are the ones who want to see it torn down. And that's the ironic part about it. You know? And it's sad to see it coming from America because America because I love America. I have my problems with it. I have my differences with certain people, but I love America, man. That's why I turn my hat around every night with the flag on the front. There's a logo on the back. You know, so no matter my differences and my grievances in America, I still love America. I still believe that America is a, is is one of the greatest countries on this planet. You know, but shit, it it ain't going to stay that way if we don't stand up for it, because, you know, we're one of the few countries that put up with this shit, man. We're one of the few countries that believe that that let this um, radical ideas get pushed so far. China is not. China not operating like this. Russia not operating like this. North Korea is not operating like this. Iran is not operating like this. Their men aren't afraid to be men. And I don't mean to be harsh. You know, I don't mean to to beat down on other people or, or to assert dominance over anybody. I listed all the good that masculinity is. That's what it is, man. If someone is bad, it's not because they're a man or a woman. It's just they individually are a bad person. They individually are toxic. So I'm asking all the men out there, all the real men out there, stand up. Speak your mind. Stop being silenced. And I don't mean come to the Internet and complain about women. I mean, come to the Internet. Speak life into other men. Let them know that it's all right to be masculine, man. It's not toxic. And and I'm not talking about walking around with your chest out. I'm not talking about letting your ego control your actions. I mean being a good stand-up man because there's nothing at all wrong with being a a good stand-up man. Not Pookie, not Ray Ray, not Mel's. Talking to men. So let me know what you think in the comment section, man. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, Blizzard Abroad.